everyone, it's Miss Deans here. This video is going to take you through the first part of the Mission to Mars project. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the slides that were in the PowerPoint that I uploaded in Edmodo. And I'm just going to click through the slides just now and you'll be able to watch it in this video. And I'm just going to explain what you need to do and the tasks in a little bit more detail. Um, so hopefully you'll find this helpful and you can follow along. OK, so the topic for this project is a mission to Mars. So you have to imagine that you are working for an organisation like NASA and you have been asked to help persuade the public to join up to go on a mission to Mars to live there. You might have seen films where people are travelling in ships to try and live out in space. Uh, there's films like Passengers, there's a film like The Martian with um, Matt Damon that was made into a film as well. Uh, you're not actually going to Mars yourself in this project, but you're imagining how you would try and persuade people. And that is the topic. And although that's the topic, you might be thinking, this is an English class. Why are we doing things about Mars? Well, really, the topic is there to give you a chance to practice lots of different English skills that you're going to need to have when you come back in S4. So it's a chance to practice those skills. And this is just hopefully an interesting topic that you'll enjoy. So, as it says here, you have to imagine that NASA and SpaceX have joined forces to send humans to Mars by the year 2030. It's going to be the greatest journey ever undertaken by the human race. These two companies are at the forefront of design and technology. They push the boundaries of science and nature each day. As a result of testing the limits of human capabilities, problems occur daily. So what that means is if you are trying to achieve things in a company that nobody has ever done before, if you're trying to do things that people didn't think could be done before, then you are probably going to come up with different problems. So you have to imagine in this case that the problem that has been come up with is that neither of the company can convince enough young people, young people like yourself, to move to Mars, to set up a colony on Mars. And this is the job that you have been given. OK. So your task, and this is an overall task for the unit, OK, is to create a promotional poster and a persuasive talk that will convince young people to move to the red planet, the red planet being Mars. So on this video, I'm only going to cover the first couple of shorter tasks. These tasks will help you to prepare to make your poster and your talk, but you won't actually start working on the poster and talk until you get to the end of this unit. A little bit like if we're going to write an essay in English, we quite often spend quite a bit of time doing different tasks before we start the essay. Now, you may already be wondering about the persuasive talk when you're at home. It's still good for you to practice preparing a persuasive talk and you can still practice delivering it to members of your family. But it may be possible to get you to deliver some of them when you come back to school. But if not, you can certainly practice them with your family and you could also possibly record them and send them to me. That is something I would love to see, but you don't have to. The practice of preparing the talk though will be useful for you for next year. So the poster that you are going to create at the end of this assessment will have to include persuasive language. So we're going to look a little bit at persuasive language. It's going to have to contain information about space travel and the conditions on Mars. And it's going to have to contain information about the type of workers that will be needed on Mars. So actually, the first couple of tasks that you're going to work through are going to be research tasks. You are going to have to find out some of this information. But don't worry if you're not sure where to look, because these tasks are going to explain that to you. So before you persuade the public, you need to find out reasons for and against moving to Mars the opinions of young people about moving to Mars, space travel, conditions on Mars and how people can survive. And you're going to have to find out about persuasive language techniques and poster design. So these are all things that we're going to cover as we work through these tasks. So here is the first task for you to complete. We're going to think about this first key question. Why move to Mars? So you don't need to have done any research at this point. We just want you to think about this for yourself, by yourself. So in your jotter, on a piece of paper, or you can type this up, or you can do it in a notes app on your phone, however you want to do it. I want you to write down or type up three reasons 
why moving to Mars would be attractive to young people. That means three reasons why young people may enjoy the chance of moving to Mars or why they think it might be a good idea. Now, there are some examples given here. It could be because they might think it would be a great adventure. It could be because they want to go where no one has gone before to explore. It could be to see the view. So there are some suggestions for you. Try to come up with a few of your own. Try to come up with at least three. If you're having trouble with coming up with three brand new reasons, you can always look at the reasons I've already put on the slide and maybe try and put them into your own words. OK, so let's think of a few reasons that just out of your own head, why people might want to move to Mars. Now, here's your next task. And again, you can just jot this down in a jotter or on a piece of paper or you can type it up. Now I want you to think about why would it be unattractive to move to Mars? So in other words, what are some reasons why people wouldn't want to do it? This might be a much easier question to answer. So an answer might be you'd be sad to leave your friends and family behind. That's one that comes to mind um, straight away. We want you to try and come up with a couple of other reasons of your own why people might not want to do it. Just come up with as many as you can and just write them down. In note form or in bullet point is absolutely fine for this task. You don't have to write in sentences for this one. So next up, this is your research task or your first research task. Now I've included a link here to a TED talk. It's on the PowerPoint slide and I'm also going to include it in the links at the bottom of this video. So I want you to click on the link and watch the TED talk. And whilst you are watching the TED talk, I want you to take notes under the following headings. So the headings are negative aspects of moving to Mars. So what would the bad things about moving to Mars be? Positive aspects of moving to Mars. So what would the good things be? What would the good things be about it? Space travel and the impact on the body. So what would it be like to travel in space and what effect would that have on your body? What effect would that have on you? What might you need to think about if you're going to go to Mars? And then things needed to survive on Mars. So if you were going to go to Mars and you were going to try and live there, what would you need in order to survive? OK, you might find that you need to watch this task. Sorry, you might find that you need to watch this talk more than once. You can watch it as many times as you like. You're doing this at home, so you can pause it or slow it down or go back and watch bits again. But try and make sure that you've got as much as you can in each box from the information in the video. You don't have to write in full sentences for this. You can use bullet points. When we're taking notes, it's OK not to use full sentences so long as what you mean is clear. So as long as you can clearly understand it, that's absolutely fine. Now, finally, for this video, and this brings us to the end of part one of the project, having watched that video and having had a little chance to think about the project, I just want you to write down your thoughts about the following questions. And this is about you individually. Would you personally consider moving to Mars? If you did, what do you think would be the hardest thing to leave behind? Do you think money would influence your decision? So do you think you would be more likely to go if you were offered money to go? You might want to think about how much money they would have to offer you. Or you might think, actually, there's no amount of money that would make you want to go. If you are offered the chance to go, but told that you could return after 10 years, would that change your mind? Would you be more likely to go if you knew that you could come back after a certain amount of time? And then finally, if you could choose one person to go with you, who would it be? Now, this is up to you. It could be a celebrity if you want, but I think you might find that maybe your friends and family would be the ones that you would really miss, but that's up to you. You might think that somebody like Bear Grylls would be very good at surviving. I don't know, though. Most of his experience is on Earth. Hopefully, you have found this video helpful. Um, I would say that you should probably think about maybe taking about a week to work through, th through these tasks, but your pace is up to you. You can go faster, you can go slower. When you're ready, you can look at the next video that I'm going to upload and that will take you through the next lot of tasks. All right. And if you've got any more questions, you can also send me a message on Edmodo. Thanks, guys.